So this is a VIP toilet team uh, for the EPA P3 competition. Uh, right now we we have this uh, experimental uh, prototype of a latrine, and our purpose is to collect data to compare it against a computational fluid dynamics model. Uh, and we we know the perfect situation of how much airflow should be going through a pipe. Uh, the purpose of having a pipe here obviously is to eliminate odor in the superstructure, and also to keep on uh, keep flies away uh, on the inside. So we know our perfect model, but this is to account uh, for all the you know, turbulence that happens on the inside, uh, and that's uh, so our perfect model acts as the upper bound, and then we'll find out how efficient our superstructure design is uh, in our computational fluid dynamics model. Um, this is the inside of our superstructure, and right now we have a weather station set up, so we're measuring ambient air temperature and air temperature inside the superstructure, and then also inside of our hole. Down the hole we have, it's about a meter deep, and there's some cow manure down there, along with a lot of snow at this time of year. And then up here we're also measuring wind direction and wind speed. Here we have the anemometer and it measures the wind speed through this pipe. We're testing three different diameter pipe to see how the area impacts the speed. And we keep the anemometer in this box to have it warm and it continuously logs the wind speed. And we can use that to calculate how much the air is exchanging within the superstructure. You see here this is our VIP model. Um, it is made out of plywood and steel since we're not able to do it out of mud, thatch, and straw. So. In order to accurately measure data, this is three feet by three feet by roughly six and a half feet tall, uh, the, what the actual size of a specific VIP would actually be. In addition to um, collecting data through our prototype, we're also working with Peace Corps volunteers. Um, we calculated um, different things that we might need to use in the CFD model that Stefan mentioned earlier, and through that we compiled a survey to question um, communities in um, different areas like Africa, um, Panama, things like that, and we're hoping to get responses that'll help us to determine something that we could use for other models that um, don't utilize the materials we can he have here in the U.S. So after we go to Washington D.C. in um, May or the end of April, we're going to be presenting our Phase One project, which is you see here, and we're going to be applying for a Phase Two project which if we get that grant it's seventy five thousand dollars to implement our project and right now we're looking at doing so in Bolivia partnering with a NGO down there through Engineers Without Borders actually um, if it works out we're hoping so so that's our plans we're going to try to work toward with a community that has uh, water filtration systems right now and they want sanitation so we're going to be working with our design and them